supposed to be your moment, ain't it? It's supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, man. Make sure y'all subscribe if you new. Help a brother hit 260K. Hit that like button if you already know what affiliation you're going to and comment it down below. But look, so listen, today I have an extremely important video, man. Probably the most important on this channel. So y'all definitely got to like this shit up. Listen, this not no hating ass video, dickhead. This is real cold hearted facts nigga now look this build system man okay i'm gonna really break it down for you i know a lot of y'all don't know and i know a lot of y'all don't have the game yet so this is very important to understand this builder right this builder is easily the best builder since 2k16 by far okay easily because now we're going back into the times where the nigga who's scoring all the points can now play defense right and guard ball and shit that's beautiful that's astonishing we've been begging for that for years i know a lot of y'all haven't because you know you suck like role player shit y'all like the role player shit y'all don't like it how it is in real life y'all like the little teamwork shit it's not it was it's not about you know who's really just good at the game anymore it's all about tactics and maneuvers and limiting people but now it's less limiting and that's why it's a much better builder than 2k 21 current 20 19 18 and 17 because you had to pick you had to pick what you wanted to do even though they were demigod broken builds overall you couldn't be a pure lockdown and still you know have 30 badges shooting beyond half court unless you was a stretch big and all that other dumb shit but besides that i like the builder but it is a hundred percent broken it's it's broke right <clears throat> It's broken and let me you know every every builder is broken bro but well 15 and 16 were but every builder is broken but it's like how do i explain it i 100 percent know the developers who made this fucking builder did not know power forwards would be that op there's no way in hell because why would you make the power forward position that one why would you why would you make it to where it's easy to get hall of fame quick first step on power forward and 80 90 badges but for pg through small forward it's hard to get hall of fame quick first step like for pg through small forward you need a night you need to be able at 99 to hit a 94 speed with ball to get hall of fame quick first step and for power forward you just need 81 it makes no sense from pg for for pgs Man, when I say PG, it just means basically through small forward too. For PGs, bro, you're basically, if you make one of those, you're going to be down at least 40, 50 badges, bro. Now, I'm not saying to switch up the whole builder to start buffing a bunch of stuff and all this and that, because then it's not going to be fair to the people that's been had the game, been making builds and I, I don't i don't really know how they would do it the only way they could logically do it is give everyone a free build if you're going to dramatically change anything you definitely shouldn't nerf any builds but if you're going to buff pg through small forward you 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 have to give everyone like a free build or a free respec of a build because at this point bro the only benefit listen listen very closely the only benefit to make a PG through small forward is your speed and acceleration. That's it. To, to, to attain the badges, look at this. Look, this is a 6'7 power forward that can get hella badges. You're going to have a 99.3. And it's easier for you to get shooting badges and still be an all-around demigod unlike a PG, bro. You can have 30 shooting badges, bro. It's, it's, look, look at this shit. It, it's the same on PG, bro. Look, you can have 30 shooting badges on a power forward. 
ISOing, using screens. You're just like five speeds below, but does that really matter since you take up more space and your animations are longer? Low key moving at the same speed? If they really wanted to make this builder more perfected, what they should have did is PGs through small forwards, it should be easier for them to get higher shooting attributes and higher playmaking attributes, right? They, they should easily be able to get playmaking badges and shooting badges when compared to power forwards, bro. And then the game would have been cool. We have been complaining for years that forwards in general are the best people in basketball, right? So why is a PG this and PGs is everyone do you just make the build a PG and now the forwards are getting love, right? But now it's just the power forward, you know, small forward, you know, they're low key better unless you want to make like a, you know, a lockdown and stuff like that. But, you know, it's, it's, it's just overboard. A small forward through a small forward and a power forward shouldn't be able to get playmaking like way easier than than a pg it's just I, I don't know what they were thinking bro who tests this game okay whoever whichever you niggas whoever is testing your shit i don't know what's wrong with you niggas at least have the people in the league test it or youtubers niggas who break the game every every year look bro if you gave me this shit for one day i could have easily showed this to you guys like all these broken builds and y'all could have made changes like whoever is working for y'all don't know that they're, they're not they're, they're they're not they haven't grown up on games man they went and got degrees they not really good at games you gotta get the niggas that's really finds the the hacks the exploits and shit every year if you want a more about because it just doesn't make sense I, I'm, I'm not i'm not complaining about it but it's just it's just not i mean the reason I want to put this video out before, like early in the year, because they're already working on 2K22, okay? Keep this idea, bigger players, shit like that, because that's how it is in real life. Bigger players, they're the stars, they're the best players in the NBA. It's not just PGs, bro. People are two-way players, you know? It's not like how these little comp, little dickhead stage niggas want to zigzag behind and have another nigga play defense for them. No. Niggas are two ways. LeBron is a two way player. Everyone's a two way player. That's how it should be in in this in basketball. That's how it should be on the video game. I've been telling niggas that shit for years. Then the niggas like you're all living in the past. You're like no nigga, it's not realistic. All this role player shit. Niggas is two way superstars, bro. Niggas is really two way superstars. Kawhi is a god. Both sides of the ball. Giannis, KD, LeBron, Kobe, MJ, I can name so many, the best niggas ever are two-way gods, that's how it should be in 2K, that's how it was in 16, that's how it was in 15, that's how it was in 14, that's why those are the best 2Ks, that's why the other 2Ks had no skill gap, you know, it became less about stick skill and strategy, I've been saying that shit, nigga. Then you're living in the past, nostalgia. Oh, oh, you wrote the exercise in the past. Like I'm some motherfucking vampire. I ain't no vampire, nigga. By the way, that's my PS5 making noise. That bitch be blowing heat, my nigga. That nigga spazzing out. <laughs> so let 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 let's have a look at this, right? Lowest weight power forward. You know, speed with ball, instantly unlocks. Hall of Fame quick first step, right? Someone actually needs to do the speed test to see if gold, we, we need to see how fast someone's moving with gold quick first step versus Hall of Fame for small forwards and PGs and see if these niggas are actually moving the same speed. Like it really needs to be tested because if you make a PG that's not a midget, you're you're not unlocking hall of fame go quick first step let me let me, let me show you man so look let let me show y'all an overall example of, of what i mean for y'all niggas who don't have the game right so for pg bro to be honest bro if you're gonna make a pg you might as well go for overall speed so you want to have 99 speed bro to be honest 
I've been saying that niggas gonna eventually catch the wave. Um, you so you're gonna want to go six three than um, these other ones because if you go any higher than six three, you might as well as um, make a power forward. It's just dumb. Uh, but you know, <clears throat> let's look. I'm gonna show y'all something, right? I'm gonna do the same on a power forward in PG, right? So we're gonna max drive and dunk, max drive and layup, max midi, max three point, max speed with ball, max ball handle, max perimeter, max block, max defense, max speed, max acceleration. We're gonna max the rest of this shit. And then what? We gonna max this shit right here, right? So look how ass this build is, right? Uh, I can't even add shit nowhere else, man. Let's just put it here, right? Let's just, let's just put it here. So 5, 10, 16, 11, right? This is kind of ass. But now, let me show you on a power forward what this could look like, right? This just same method overall. You know, we're gonna do six, seven, lowest weight. What, max wingspan? I, I don't fucking know, bro. So look, the speed and acceleration, bro, it doesn't cost much to put up. For some reason, for the PG through small forwards, it does, right? So look, now I can bring this hoe up, right? And get way more. Then I could bring this hoe up. And look, like, it's just not, it's not fair, bro. Look, look at this. Just like in comparison, like it's not fair. You you see what I mean? For some reason, even if you were to lower the, the speeds on the PG to this, you still wouldn't get this many badges. So overall, it's just broken. And with the ball handle requirements being so low, you can run like PGs with these niggas and they got the, the quick first steps. They got all that shit, bro. So it's like, I don't know. I don't really care too much about having small players. I didn't like that shit anyway. I like big players, man. My first nigga on 2K8 or on 2K15, he was 6'8", just like my nigga LeBron. LeBron, my favorite nigga in the league, right? My nigga was 6'8", bro. You know, I want to be a big nigga. Like, I want to ISO niggas, fuck niggas up, and guard ball, and dick the shit out of niggas' paws. But I'm just saying and showing that this is, like, just broken. Like, um... It's kind of more limited. Like, um, like if you actually want to win, like if you really make a PG, like you know, you, you, if you're, let's say you verse yourself, right, and you're a PG trying to do an overall bad spread versus a power forward trying to do an overall bad spread, you gonna you gonna get fucked up by the power forward unless you like abusing screens or some shit, which people still are gonna do. You'll you'll see. But yeah, man, overall, how do you think they could better overall balance this builder for 2K22 or for this year and not rip off people, man? I mean, I'm pretty sure I mentioned all the issues about this whole builder. Definitely. Um, I know it's kind of like everywhere, but I definitely mentioned everything. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the builder and what you think is most fun. How you think it should be in 2K22? And if you think the devs actually knew that um, the builds were going to be like this. Like, there's no way. Y'all let me know what y'all rank the builders also. Um, I definitely think this is behind the... Uh... Anywho, man. That's the end of the video, man. Make sure y'all subscribe if you know. Turn on post notice. Hit that like button. Follow me on all my social media. My Twitter. My Twitch. Lord Baby Hulk on Twitch. I'm going to stream tonight. Get your merch. Get your merch. Link in description. And make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week and drink a gallon of water a day, my boy.